All right, looks like we, we're beginning tonight with another round of Head Rush. Dummy, yeah. All right, time to do it. There you go. All right, see you on the flip side. In honor of today, St. Patrick's Day, I have a little friend who wants to say something. Top of the morning to you. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Thanks. How many people are playing? Just the one. Just you and me, huh? Great. I need your name. 45 seconds. All right, buddy. Hit the number of the icon you want. Okay, your buzzer is going to be the letter B. B is in Blarney. And now, here's Gamey. Hey there, how's it going? My name's Bob, and if you have any questions at all, hey, please feel free to keep them to yourself. Sure. Anyway. So, here's what you gotta do. Question flies in, you know the answer, so you buzz in and you choose either one, two, three, or four. Then you either win a bunch of cash if you get it right, win or you lose, and I take away all your money, and I humiliate you. Score. Got it? Anyway, uh, can we go now? Leave Blue Jacket 1, and the third pair of Caveat. Category, please. Buzz spot, just keep doing you. Oh. Here she is. Carolina, here, Looks like this one's going for ten thousand bucks. Hey, Ottawa you know how I'm red and stimpy? They pretend to sell this toy called Log that's really just a big chunk of wood. If Log were made of petrified wood, what would it be called? Moss, plastic, dirt, or rock? I think that would be rock. Petrified wood is wood that's so old it's turned to stone. <laughs> hey, let's play catch with rock. Okay, you go first. Uh-oh. I need a category. Well, what do we have here? That's one big freaking pool. And you pocket 20,000 clams if you get this one. Hey, you ever play that game in the swimming pool called Marco Polo? You know, sure. someone goes, Marco, and then everyone else goes, Polo, and then you try to catch them? Well, if you're playing Marco Polo with people from the country in which Marco explored, who are you trying to grab? A Chinese person in a Speedo, a skinny dipping Italian, an American with a nose plug, or a shriveled and pruny Jamaican? Marco! Hey, where'd everybody go? Should have picked this. Marco Polo's writings about his journeys in China inspired other explorers to set off around the world. It really sucks playing Marco Polo with him in the pool, though, because every time you say Marco, he just goes, what? Okay, pick a category. And I believe this one's called Smurfy Spice. And we got 30,000 bucks in the pot. Okay, now you remember those little blue forest dwellers, the Smurfs? Well, imagine they were sure. around in colonial New England. Which of these acts could a Smurf commit to violate the blue laws of Puritan New England? Papa Smurf getting drunk on Sunday, Greedy Smurf not giving to the poor, Smurfette acting sad in public, or Handy Smurf painting his house blue? I think the blue laws had to deal with liquor. The blue laws were enacted by religious leaders to try and protect the Sabbath and enforce saintly moral behavior on citizens. <laughs> and that's why the Smurfs were on Saturday mornings. They were just too damn racy for Sundays. Alrighty, pick one. The category Ooh, is a band by any other name would still smell the same. Twenty thousand bucks for a correct answer. Wipe off that finger, cause here we go. Which of the following band's names is an example of onomatopoeia? REM, U2, Wham, or Duran Duran? 
I think that'd be wham. Words that are meant to sound like their names are onomatopoetic, like boom, crack, or in this case, wham. <laughs> Which was a lot better than their original name. They wanted to call the band, but they couldn't figure out how to spell it. Okay, I need a category. Your attention, please. Attention. You just picked a dis or dead. Oh, dear. One day he'll pick the dynamite. Today was not that day. This dis or dad's category name is I owe everything to Kirk Cameron and Mayim Bialik. Okay, I'm going to read off the names of seven actors. And for each one, I want you to tell me if he or she appeared on Blossom or Growing Pains. As each name comes up, if they appeared on Blossom, press one. If they were okay, on Okay, thank goodness it's not both, because that'd be and brutal. if you want to skip one, press four. Five thousand bucks for each right answer, and you lose five thousand for a wrong answer or one you don't get to. Okay, timer please. Let's boogie. Leonardo DiCaprio. Growing Pains. Matthew Perry. Uh, Blossom? Awesome. David Schwimmer. Awesome. Will Smith. Awesome. Tori Spelling. Tori Spelling. Pain. Last one. Scott. Wolf. Awesome. That's all she wrote. Not pretty. pretty, but you got four. Whoop de doo. All right, let's check your score. Mediocrity at its finest. Hey, it could be worse. You know, it could, well, not much worse, but it could be. Let's move on. Okay, pick a category. This bad boy is... Oh no, my cuspy new PlayStation is gronked. 10,000 bucks riding on this one. Hey, excellent. You just got a new PlayStation and you're dying to plug it in. If you can't find an extension cord and you have to use your umbilical cord, what will you be plugging your PlayStation into? A kite, a cow's udder, your telephone, or your mom? That'd be your mom. An umbilical cord is what attaches an unborn baby to its mother. That's how you get your belly button. Wow, I wonder if my PlayStation has an Innie or an Audi. I need a category. Okay. Say hello to Historical Hansons. How does $20,000 sound? Okay, you one or two remaining Hanson fans, brace yourself. Isaac has left Hanson, leaving Zachary and Taylor to perform alone. Oh, no! Imagine that Zachary and Taylor combined their names for their new duo. Given the person who shares the name Zachary Taylor, what might the brother's first hit be? Nuclear physicist Bob, slave leader Bob, Olympic gold medalist Bob, or U.S. President Bob? He was the U.S. President of the United States. Zach T. was the 12th President of the United States. <laughs> who knew he'd one day be able to share his name with people as influential as the Hansons? That's amazing. Okay, I need a category. Looks like this category is Games Desperate People Play. 20,000 bucks says you don't know this one. Let's boogie. If the dating game were taped on the international date line, what would the contestants most likely do? Date someone on another planet, describe a date that happens the next day, go on next week's date last month, or meet their date in a leap year. Describe a date that happens the next day. The international date line divides one day from another. So on one side of the line, it's today, and on the other side, it's yesterday. Doesn't make a ton of sense, but okay. Ah, what'd you do that for? I never kiss before the first date. What? Category, please. Pucker up for check, please. And you're playing for a $30,000 wad. Okay, say you're out on a date and you order some hummus and pita bread for an appetizer. If instead of hummus, your waiter brings you humus, into what will you be dipping your pita? A bone from your upper arm, an Islamic terrorist organization, decomposed organic matter found in soil, or a container for storing cigars? Humus. Hummus. It's got to be three. Humus is the stuff that makes soil fertile and allows it to retain water. The other ones are humorous 
Some so moss like and humidor. Look at it this way. If you swallow some watermelon seeds afterwards, you can start a little garden. Mmm, belly melons. All righty, pick one. All right, give it up for... Ooh, we're cat. all rock stars in the shower. This one will get you 10 grand. Okay, show of hands, who uses a washcloth in the shower? Okay, now who uses one of those fancy scrapey loofah sponge things? All right, well, imagine this. If you're in the shower and reach for your loofah, but accidentally grab the louvre, what might you do? Would you smear a small bird in your hair, scrub your butt with a Mona Lisa, squish a molecule between your toes, or get a foreign car in your eyes? Uh, the Louvre is a uh, French museum. The Mona Lisa is kept in an art museum in France called the Louvre. <laughs> now I understand why she's got that weird smile on her face. She's seen you in the shower naked. Uh -huh. Okay, I need a category. <laughs> Just have so you're watching. Rush. Keep your eyes glued to the screen, because when you see two words that match, you better buzz in. If you're right, you got 5,000 bucks coming your way. But if you're wrong, you owe me 5,000. Oh, don't forget. Remember the clue! Your match better fit this clue. Whose house are you watching? And I'll tell you what, right now, the only thing you should be watching is the screen. Good luck. King of the Hill. The Hills, yeah, of course. Fire Five. Hmm. The Salingers, that's right. Home Improvement, that would be, uh... The Taylors. Shoot, I have no clue. The Buckmans, yeah, there you go. Whew. How we ties? The Keatons. The Seavers. Huxtables. And I agree, Kurt Cameron is lame. Not bad, not bad. Why am I, I yelling? I don't know. Let's check out your final score. That's the game. Hey, not the greatest, but we'll take it, I guess. Like I always say, it doesn't matter whether you win or lose, as long as you get to play with yourself. Now, uh, get away from the computer and go make some friends, will you? Bye-bye! And cut. Hey, okay, baby diva, what's going on? They going again or what? few moments in a person's life as important as making the high scoreboard, like tying your shoe for the 3,000th time. So why don't you do that too, and then tell me if you want to play again. No, I'd be good. And this concludes this episode of You Don't Know Jack Head Rush. If you like what you saw, be sure to leave a comment in the section below. Hit that thumbs up button and spread that word. We'll see you.